right, Carly? Yeah, just a little tired. I had this weird dream last night. <sighs> Me too. Were you being chased through school by a giant ham sandwich? No. Okay, that's just me then. Hey, Carly. Sam? Hi, Freddy. Fredward. What's up with you guys? Rough night? Weird dreams. Were you two being chased by a giant laptop? <laughs> no. No. Just me then. So, what was your dream, Carly? Well, first, Freddy was my boyfriend. Sounds like a good dream. <laughs> More like a nightmare. And the second weird thing was that you, Sam, were jealous of me for going out with him. Ah! Oh, that does sound like a nightmare. I have no idea what that all means. You should check with Spencer. Doesn't he have that dream interpretation book? Oh, good idea! But I lost him. <laughs> You've lost your older brother? Either that or he's hiding. I'm not hiding! Spencer? I'm not hiding! Where are you then? I was making a new sculpture called Iron Dude for the Yakima Museum. It's meant to be a living sculpture. I can hear you, but I can't see you. Yeah, where's your voice coming from? I'm inside the sculpture! You're inside? Yeah. Well, come out. I can't. I welded myself in. Wow, did you mean to? Yes and no. How long have you been in there? All night. And I'm really wishing that before I got in here I hadn't drunk all that soda. We'll get you out. This is the craziest sculpture you've done yet, Spence. Yeah. What gave you this idea? Did you hit your head on something? Actually, it was I, Parley. Our show? How? The curator at the Yakima Museum was watching your show with his kid. He saw some of the sculptures I did for the iCarly set, and he texted me. Oh, that's great! It will be, as soon as I get out of here! It doesn't look good. It's welded solid. How are we gonna get him out? We could blowtorch him out, but then he'd be toast. Yeah, not a good idea. And we can't melt away the iron without melting him, too. <sighs> We need a brain as big as Neville Papperman's to work it out. That's weird. You've reminded me. Neville was in my dream, too. He was trying to take over iCarly. Then it definitely was a nightmare. I'm sorry, Spencer. There's only one option left. Yeah, we're gonna have to use hammers. What? what? No! Starting in two minutes, guys. Definitely the old guy with the jittery teeth. No way. That's totally icky. It has to be the surfer. He's hot. Hello. Starting in one minute, 40 seconds. I admit the surfer's hottish. Well, kind of lukewarm. But he doesn't have the shock factor. Exactly. I don't want our viewers gagging. One minute, 20. What's going on? We're trying to decide on the last video to feature this week. And the options are old guy with false teeth versus surfer dude. That surfer is a dream. I vote for the old guy. <laughs> that decides it. No, wait. Spencer, come up here. You called? That was fact. I was a lurking. It's for my latest work of art. <laughs> You're lurking for art? I'm observing my fellow humans as though I was an alien. An alien? From Mars, Venus? The planet Juveron. Right? Right. Right. So, we're having this debate about a video. I know. I heard it all. So? Which one's the best? I think you're missing a third option. You mean get them to vote on it? No! I mean look for my video. I don't remember that. Freddy, where's Spencer's video? Freddy? Sorry guys, small technical glitch. For a moment I thought the videos were deleting themselves. <laughs> I must be losing it. <laughs> I second that. Hey! Freddy, it's almost time. What? what The show? Oh, oh yeah. In five, four, three, two. Begin with the go!
Spencer? Great, but not really great. No way! That show is flawless! I thought you were gonna feature my video of Mr. Mango from the planet Juveron. Mr. Mango? Don't mock me! He's a real talking mango! Are you serious, Spencer? Of course! I never joke about exotic fruit. Because there was no such video on the server. I didn't see it either. I think we'd have remembered an alien superfruit. But I uploaded it this morning. Come on, Freddy, let's have a look. Look, these are the videos uploaded before noon. Oh yeah, the guy chewing a boot. Yeah, yeah! 
I dig that upside down girl, the way she plays guitar. Whatever! Ah! The dog that can whistle. Okay, I like that. But no Mr. Mango. Mr. Mango! Where have you gone? Please come back, Mango! Maybe it didn't upload. Corrupted? Or maybe aliens are deleting your videos. <laughs> Spencer! I'm just saying. Come on, show's over. Maybe we can feature Mr. Mango next week. No. He's moved on now. Back to Planet Juveron? Yeah. Come on, you guys, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Someone should send you to Planet Juveron. Come on, guys. It'll blow you away, Sam. It's one of the best vids I've seen. Better than the one of Freddy choking on cheese and hyperventilating? I was not hyperventilating. I was just doing some breathing exercises. Anyway, who puts chili powder on cheese? I do. Hey, where is it? Hi, guys. What you looking for? You remember that video we were watching earlier? Of the girl who could make a face like a monkey? Not that one. Oh, you mean the Quizmaster twins? They had a bunch of serious brains. Yeah, but where is it? Uh, I don't know. All the uploaded videos are gone. Well, you're techno dork. Can't you just do something about it? No. Something's got inside the server and deleted all the videos. You've got a backup, right? Freddy? I think a couple of the videos have survived. We're gonna have to do this week's show without any videos. No way! Come on, Sam. We can do it. We'll just make it work. Ugh, Freddy, what do we pay you for around here? You don't pay me. Ready? In five, four, three, two. Let the fun begin! We've got an answer. Sweet moves. We've got an answer. Yeah, great dancing. Right on the beat.
time for silliness. I can't watch. I can't watch. Come on. guys I can't believe we did it totally unrehearsed and it totally rocked and look at the server I did it all the vids are back well no I could only get a few but that's better than nothing right all right yes that's great yeah I just reintegrated the ghost data from the secondary server and whoa did you swallow a nerd burger or something hey Thanks, Freddy. Do I get a kiss? No. So what happened, dude? It wasn't my fault, was it? Nah, Spence. But it ain't good news. This was on the back of as well. Welcome to Ruvision. I'm your host, Neville Papperman. No way! Neville! What's that little weasel up to now? If you can see this, then you've most likely recovered your ridiculous audiovisual putrefactions. However, Know this, Carly. I will not rest until I have sanitized the internet of your show. You will rue this day. Yes! The rue is coming to you! Do you think he drinks coffee? Okay, people. It's payback time. Yeah! Here's the plan. We do this week's show from outside Neville's house. When he starts to interfere, we find the one thing that is guaranteed to stop him in his tracks. His mother. Agreed. Except that's not gonna work. Hey, Freddy. Why not? Because his mother isn't here. Neither is Neville. Not here? Nobody's home. Icarly is toast. Wait! Maybe we can find out where they went. Maybe. If Neville is using his home network as a hub while he works from a remote base station, then I might be able to track his IP. I don't know what any of that meant, but let's do it. Whoa there, if Freddy's tracking Neville, who's gonna be cameraman? Hello? <laughs> don't be ridiculous, Spencer. Remember last time you picked up a camera? The fireman said it was probably an electrical fault. Nothing to do with me. Right. I don't think we have a choice. Okay, here we go in five, four, nine, ten. Only kidding. Oh,
that show was on fire. Yeah, literally. What happened, Spencer? I don't know. The microphone just got really hot. Lucky Neville's garden has a sand pit. And that we had a mime routine as part of this week's show. Sound is overrated anyway. Hey, guys. Freddy, how did it go? Did you track down Neville? They don't call me Fredster Techno Dude for nothing. Fredster Techno Dude? Suddenly, I wish I hadn't said that. Is that your call sign to the other geeks, freaks, and nerds? I know where Neville is. Great! He's somewhere in a forest out of state. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe a bear will eat him. I've got most of the details I need. If he tries to hack iCarly again, he's gonna rue the day. Er... Freddy. Talking of ruining the day... <laughs> yeah? <laughs> I have to tell you something about this camera, you're gonna love it. <laughs> oh, jeez. Checklist. iCarly website up and running. Check. Neville app destroyed. Check. Great new videos uploaded by our fans. Check. Okay, we're ready to go. Not quite. Why not? Freddy's asleep. <laughs> Freddy! Oh, oh, I flushed already. What? Huh? <clears throat> Freddy, we're about to go in the air. Right. Yeah, I knew that. Are you okay? I'm fine. It's just been a long week. The whole like Harley site was riddled with the Neville app. I haven't slept much. But it's all sorted, right? Almost. What does that mean? There's one last program I can't get rid of. Neville set a password on it. I can't work it out. But it's harmless, right? I hope so. Or maybe it's sitting there waiting to infect everything again. Hey, Freddy! I worked it out! <sighs> Hi, Spence. I worked out that password thingy you were talking about! Yeah? What is it? Okay. I pretended that I was Neville, and then I thought up a list of words. Right. First I thought, Rue. Too obvious? Yeah, so... Then I wondered, maybe it was Ruing, Papperman, Rue the Day. I tried those already. Yeah, but then I realized his password... Yeah? Is... Yeah? Yeah? Password! His password is password? Try it. Okay. Accessing the file, it's asking for the password. Typing in password. Password? You think my password is password? Uh-oh! You numbskulls, as if Neville Papperman, holder of most gold stars for presentation and genius at summer math camp, would ever use such a simplistic code. We know where you are, Neville. You're not gonna ruin iCarly again. Is that so? Well, let me tell you, if you can't work out the password soon, you're going to see it open up. And then it'll do this. I, Carly, is trash. I hate it. Sam, what are you saying? I didn't say anything. I am Carly, and even I think my show is lame. What? Who said that? Let me introduce you to Sim Sam and Sim Carly. Soon, no one will love iCarly, because even Carly and Sam will be telling them how lame it is! <laughs> we've got to find that password. Yeah, but first we've got a show to do. In five, four, three, two... Ooh, I love this one! Whoop.
I've ever been so nervous. Yeah, I was paranoid Sim Sam and Sim Carly were gonna appear any moment. I love doing iCarly, but Neville's ruining all the fun of it. That's why we have to work out the stupid password. Okay. Suggestions for the password? Mwah. We have to put ourselves inside his mind. Uh. I know, but it's the only way. Uh, Master Papperman? No. Uh, Sir Neville? Mm, no. Professor Ruthaday? No. Spencer? What do you think? It's no good. I just keep thinking the password must be password. Well, we know that's not right. Are we sure? What do you mean? You typed it incorrectly, right? Yeah. But did you press OK? Of course I did. I think. <laughs> Try it again. Password is password. And okay. This is Sam Neville. This program is now unlocked. All right! Yeah! <laughs> we did it! Great! Woo! Choose from the following options. Open, edit, delete. Delete! Bye-bye! See you, Sim Sam. No, wait a minute. I've got an idea. 
Okay, you guys, ready for a Neville-free show? Am I? It'll be the first one in six weeks. You really think he'll leave us alone now? He's bound to try something. He never gives up. <laughs> yeah, he's like the geek that keeps on giving. That's why Freddy and I have been working on a plan. Yeah, we were all set to delete Neville's program last week. You mean that Sim Neville thing? But Carly had this great idea. One of the options was edit, so Freddy and I did some editing. And this is what we made. Hello, I am the Sim Neville program. I, Carly, is quite simply the most marvelous show. I cannot tell you how wonderful, talented, and above all intelligent the whole cast and crew are. Freddy, Sam, and Carly, you are my heroes. I even love that big clumsy fool of a brother of yours. That kind of gives me the creeps. I don't know. I could grow to like this Sim Neville guy. <laughs> so what's the plan? I'll let Sim Neville explain. Should my nefarious counterpart, the original Neville, attempt to compromise iCarly yet again, I will leap into action like a beautiful gazelle. I will upload myself back to his main computer and play some games with that little toad's mainframe. We figured that we can't stop Neville, so we'll send Neville to stop Neville. You know, something just happened I didn't think was possible. <laughs> What's that? I felt sorry for Neville. Are you serious? Okay, it's gone. <laughs> okay, guys, if you're ready, in five, four, three, two. Bring on the segment!
show, guys! And no sign of Neville. Oh, he was there. He was? No way! Did the show go out? Don't tell me. Everything on the hard drive's gone. Relax. He tried to hack the system, but I just sent him Sim Neville. You did? What happened? I guess it must have worked. Ugh, what have you done? Neville? You've ruined everything! Hey, we didn't do anything. Yeah, you designed Sim Neville. Now you're going to have to live with him. Do you know how irritating he is? Do you know how irritating you are? I'm gonna get you back for this. Now, now, Neville, you have been terribly impolite to my friend Carly. Oh, shush! You're just a simulation. Do not be rude. It is not becoming for a young man. I'm going to delete you. I do not think so. Oh, really? What makes you so sure? Because I have just been speaking with our mother. What? No! Yes, and I have told her everything. You wouldn't. No, you didn't! She is not very pleased. Help! Help! Bye, Neville!
Hey, Carly, you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I had another nightmare, though. Were you being chased by a giant taco? No, that's just you. It was so angry! You told me. It couldn't find any salsa. Lucky for me, I found a giant pot of hummus. Mmm, hummus. You and Sam are the only people I know who dream about large food. So let me guess. Neville was in this nightmare. Yeah. And he was really small and had a body like a cockroach. Did he bite you? He tried. What happened? I accidentally stepped on him. Accidentally? It was just a nightmare. It didn't really happen. You don't need to worry about Neville anymore. But what if he tries to ruin iCarly again? Neville can't stop you. Why not? Because when my sister Carly Shay puts her mind to something, nothing can stop her. You think so? Plus, you've got two great buds and a really talented and awesome brother who are always watching out for you. Okay. You're right. Neville was just a bug. Now let's forget about him. I want to talk about my giant taco some more. So what do you think it means? I think it means you're always hungry. You're right! Come on. Let's go get some food in a smoothie.